actually I made an addition to my uh, van purchases that I didn't think I would necessarily do. But as I've become more familiar with the way the, uh, the power sets up, I thought I'd give an alternative, so I did buy a solar charge controller. You know, I still have the Goal 040, which could probably serve and no doubt initially will serve as the sole power point for the van. Uh, I thought I would also get a solar charge controller. And these cables, these are a negative and positive cable for the uh, for plugging in from the uh, from the panels uh, on the roof to the uh, to the solar solar charge controller. Uh, this is a Sky, uh, relatively uh, modest charge controller. It's got a charging port and basically gives you the basic areas where you need to hook up your batteries, uh, power, lights, etc. So I thought I would take a look at this. This is a Sky. It's a 12 volt, 24 volt, 30 amp charge controller. Uh, I probably, if I didn't have the Gold Zero, I might have gone a little bit more expensive. But, you know, just, just, just an alternative to keep in my back pocket. Who knows, I might be able to run the Gold Zero and the solar charge controller uh, working off a battery bank. Uh, that would be overkill, but yeah, over, overkill is my middle name. Uh, but, yeah, it'd be pretty good. You know, I could just, uh, I could just, uh, you know, when I'm putting up the, the uh, insulation, and the initial paneling, I can always mount that charge controller over the connection point, uh, under the connection point from the uh, from the solar panels above. So I will have the choice of either going through the goal zero for any indeterminate length of time, maybe permanently, or I would have also the alternative of using the charge controller. Sort of got an automatic backup there. Uh, so I thought I would do that. I'm getting pretty close to topping out on my purchases for the van. Uh, the things I would need now would be uh, batteries, uh, cables for those batteries, you know, to create a little, you know, create a little bank, uh, either directly from the charge controller or uh, through the Go Zero. Potentially and more likely through the Go Zero initially, but I want to have a fallback. And uh, this is the beginning here. I uh, have not gotten an inverter uh, for this purpose. It, if you know, I would need one. I haven't even done that yet. But you know, the the Go Zero Forty, the Twelve Fifty, or whatever the big one is, etc. Uh, they 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 have inverter built in, so you just simply plug them in directly. So I'm just giving myself some alternatives, and uh, I'm really ready to get this thing on the road. I had an appointment to go to a dealer today, but it was icy and cold, and there's no reason to do that when it's going to be in the 70s in three or four days. And uh, I just I don't really get along with the big time dealers. This is a Ford dealer. It doesn't matter for Chevrolet. It doesn't matter any of them. I usually prefer going to Independence or to smaller lots, which, uh, as I've said before, have a host of issues of their own. Just my preference. So, charge control is a nice little addition and gives me an alternative. And you need an alternative when you don't exactly know exactly what you're looking for. So I've got a couple of choices. And I might even need to get a more powerful uh, or more full featured uh, charge controller. And, of course, like I said, I will definitely need a, an inverter if I do use this. In any case, I want to give you a quick look at the latest van purchase. Uh, so in a very, very cold uh, January day, uh, we started at about 13 or 14 this morning and came up to a big 38. Now I think we're dropping down back to 31 or 30. So hopefully we're on a warming trend through the rest of the week and I can get out and get some things done I need to get done to make all this happen. In any case, uh, that's all I've got. I will uh, talk to you later.